Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I've got this foundation to review for you. This is the brand new MAC Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen. I don't know where this came from. I didn't see any campaign for this new foundation. I even went to a department store and I looked around MAC counter. I don't know if they are not available yet on the counters, but I haven't seen it. So one day I was just looking on internet, looking what's new and this popped up. And I thought, that's interesting. And I, be honest with you, I haven't used MAC foundation in years. And I probably wouldn't buy it if it didn't look like this. It is a syringe. So that really intrigued me. So let me tell you what they say about this foundation. So this foundation is concealer and foundation in one, long wearing up to 36 hours, buildable medium to full coverage, transfer proof, waterproof, sweat and humidity resistant, not settling, non caking, non creasing, non streaking up to 36 hours. We will never know not wearing it for 36 hours. Provides instant hydration, immediately smooths and diffuses the look of blemishes. Non-commodogenic, appropriate for all skin types. It's infused with vitamin E, hyaluronic acid and caffeine. It comes in 33 flexible, medium to full coverage buildable shades with the natural looking matte finish. Uh, let me tell you about my skin. So obviously I've got mature skin, wrinkles, fine lines, a bit of texture because my T-zone is prone to getting oily after a few hours. So the most texture I have always here in the middle of my forehead and a bit around my mouth and chin. And that's when the foundation usually starts looking cakey or breaks up. Obviously bought it online, so I chose the NC30 only because when I used to use MAC foundation, I was always NC30. To me, this looks a bit lighter than I remember NC30 to be, but I might be wrong because I haven't used it for years. But right now I have no fake tan at all, so this matches me perfectly. So this is in NC30. I have used this foundation a couple of times, but I've set it with what I always do with the Lily Lolo Mineral Loose Powder Foundation in Cookie. And today I set it with just a setting powder. So I wanted to see if it makes any difference and how it looks. So I will show you how this foundation applies, what it is best to apply it with and I will come back after about five, six hours and we will check how it was. Okay, so you take the top. This has a little stopper. I only kept it to show you because obviously after that I don't need to use it. You take that off. Then here, and you twist at the bottom to unlock it. And then you press it like a syringe and they say to use half a um, half a syringe for concealing and for one for foundation I find it a bit hard because I want to use my right hand and I find it difficult to squeeze it with my left but I could put it straight onto my face so I'm going to dispense a whole pump it's a bit messy. I feel one pump is not enough, but we will see. It is better, in my opinion, to apply with a brush because I tried with a sponge and the sponge seems to absorb the product. As you can see that only did this bit here so I definitely need more. Right now this is light to medium coverage. 
I find that this pump also doesn't work very well. Sometimes nothing will come out. I don't know if you always have to have it upright or have it that way. So it's quite thick, but it feels very, very light. So this has given me more of a medium coverage now. But that is like, those pumps are very small and I've done three pumps. So it's very buildable and it doesn't really cake up. So. I am going to try to build it up with this sponge. This is one of those microfiber ones, you know, with the, the hairy one, uh, because this one doesn't get that wet and um, it doesn't absorb as much product. So I'm going to try to squeeze that on here and see if we can build it up. So I squeezed another two pumps and that's how little they are. That's two pumps. which was too much. Oh yes, this applies it much better. So like I said, because I've only tried it twice and I tried it with a normal sponge and it didn't work, I only used the brush. But now with this sponge, it's definitely better. It says obviously that it's a concealer that you can use it under your eyes but I don't like to do that because because then when I apply concealer I feel like there is too much product under my eye okay so this is better than a brush in my opinion because I had nothing on this side and it covered nicely so I would recommend to use this sponge, this type of sponge, the hairy microfiber one, that is almost dry. I mean, you wet it properly and then squeeze it out in like a paper towel and it's barely wet. So it does have natural matte finish. It's quite undetectable. I put so much on this side, you saw me feels very very light okay I am going to quickly put a concealer on and then I will come back so this is with the concealer on I haven't powdered yet so I have used on it before Lily Lalo mineral powder foundation and that looked really nice but today just to see I might just use the Laura Mercier translucent ultra bleh powder under my eyes and all over my face Okay, so this is all set. It looks so lovely. It, to me, I put really a lot on and it looks really smooth, really lovely. And even, I've noticed, you know, I always tell you this is like my most textured place on my face. It looks pretty good here and round here usually these places really show my foundation but um, yeah this looks pretty good I 
Okay, so I'm going to go and put my brows on, uh, do some bronzer, blush, and I will be back. Okay, so I finished my brows, did a bit of bronzing and blush, and it's already looking better. It's sort of settled down now. You know when you straight away powder it, especially with a normal setting powder, I never really use setting powder. I use the Lily Lolo Mineral loose foundation powder which gives you a tiny bit more luminosity it's not as flat matte as setting powders but i wanted to try it today with a powder so i can tell you what they both look like so it's looking really really natural really lovely really smooth i really like it so i've turned the lights down a bit so you can see a bit better sometimes when the lights are really bright everything looks really smooth but um, yeah I think it's looking pretty good okay so I'm going to go away do my makeup and I will come back after five six hours and we will see what it looks like I will see you later I'm back so it's five o'clock in the afternoon and I put that foundation on I don't know nine nine thirty so six and a half seven hours <sighs> I've just been out with the dog um, I haven't looked at myself really all day but I tell you something this foundation looks beautiful so I can see I've gone a bit shiny, but nothing like with my other foundations. Definitely less shiny than with all my other foundations, even the ones that I really love. So even though this one has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E is supposed to be, you know, hydrating, it definitely doesn't make you oily. So like I said, you can see my forehead is a bit shiny, slightly here. Let me bring that mirror closer. I mean, my chin looks a bit... I mean, I have to really look really closely at it from like a distance, nothing. But, you know, I could have been touching my chin or whatever. It hasn't broken up anywhere, it hasn't come off anywhere, I don't feel like it looks more textured. Right, let's, let me zoom you in. So, here, can you see? It's a bit broken up there, but if you look at my chin, I have like a really big crease in my chin i've got like a witch's 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 witch witch's chin <laughs> this sort of goes like this so i have and i've got like turned up lips so i have a big crease. crease oh my god i can't speak a big crease so in here with getting a bit oily is sort of tiny bit broken up but we wouldn't see it because i'm not walking around like this here it looks good nothing's broken up look at my forehead and my forehead usually looks quite textured when my oils come through it just looks as good as it did if not fresher because um you know when you powder it straight away can look a bit powdery but when your oil slightly comes through it looks a bit fresher let's see if i would put powder back on it first of all let me take a bit of kitchen towel and press right so i've just pressed it and there is hardly anything coming off a bit here can you see it's a bit yellow so not much at all 
even that has uh, mattified it a bit but if I put some powder tiny tiny bit so I mean I didn't feel like I had to touch up but if I did just after six hours also have a look I um, couple of hours after I filmed the, the application, I went outside, it was slightly sunny. I went outside and I filmed with my vlogging camera outside and I thought it looked really nice as well. Although I couldn't see in the sun, so um, I think it looked nice. We will see once I edited this video, but have a look at that now. But from the distance, so my mirror is like my arm at my arm length. It looks beautiful. It looks flawless. It's just amazing. And I know people will be asking me, do you prefer this to Delilah Alibi Foundation? I can't say yet because this is like the third time I've worn it. Um, I prefer how the Delilah applies. It's much easier to apply, in my opinion. You know, I might work out better way of applying this. That sponge worked really well. I will link you that type of sponge in the description box. Uh, Delilah gets more shiny after six hours than this. I don't know. Okay, let's say I like them both the same, but I really, really like it. This is one of the best foundations that I found since Delilah. So I found a couple that I liked. I like the Good Apple foundation. I can't remember what other foundations I reviewed since then. Um, you know, I still like my Anastasia foundation, but this is the best foundation I found since finding Delilah. So, what I might do, I might actually go to the store, hopefully they have it there, um, and get myself slightly darker colour. I have to do that with most foundations because I tan, don't tan, so when I'm pale, this is perfect match for me. The NC30 is perfect for me like this. I know you might think I'm darker here, but you know, this is my terrible sun damage that I have on my neck and when I fake tan here that sort of disappears it's hidden but if I fake tan this is going to be too light and I have some darker foundations that I can mix it with but I want the MAC one in a darker color it's very difficult with MAC uh, colors because they are like back to front so NC is like neutral core I would never buy a cool foundation. I like warm foundations, but in MAC, NC is for warm undertones and NW are for cool undertones. It's like back to front. So, um, and sometimes like I think the NC25, I think is darker than the NC30. It's just a bit confusing. So I think I will go to the shop and choose my foundation, dark foundation that way. Okay, my lovelies, I love it. It's really amazing. It's gathered a bit around my nose, tiny bit, but that's just like normal things. And like I said, it's only when you go really, really close up to the mirror. Um, again, from my arm length, it looks beautiful. Okay, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you can sample this foundation, please do. Um, I think it's wonderful. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.